I fully just moved my car to get better lighting and it looks exactly the same. Hi friends, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to the next clip of this video. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm filming right now. I just kind of felt like it, you know? I was just in Starbucks doing some school, but it was so cold in there that I had to leave. <laughs> and I brought my camera because I was gonna do a Q&A, but I only got one question. Thanks, Megan, I appreciate you. I just wanted to say hey. <laughs> I don't know, I've been having a really hard time filming and editing and stuff because I feel like I put a lot of effort and time into my videos and I feel like it doesn't get any like any views and I'm obviously I'm not doing this for views I'm obviously like this is why I'm still doing it is because I genuinely love making it but it's really hard to like keep posting when you feel like you're the only person that enjoys it, if that makes sense. I don't know, I just, I'm in a rut. My mental health has not been very good. <laughs> and so it's been hard for me to post and um, film because I don't wanna film when I am feeling lousy. Like I just don't feel like it and I can't fake being in a good mood. I don't, I just haven't been filming. Um, I've been having a, um, really bad anxiety for a, long, a few months. I've had anxiety for a few years, but the last few months have been absolutely terrible. It's really hard for me to eat, which, if you know me, like, in person, like, I eat literally all the time. Like, I, I'm always hungry and I'm never full, but I haven't had an appetite or I've been really nauseous from anxiety um, for the past few months, so I've been making myself eat because I know that I need to, um, but definitely not as much as I used to eat. But I started going to therapy, um, which I was really scared to do, but I recommend going if you're even considering it. It's, I already, I only had one session and it's already really helpful. And like, the fact that you know you're doing something to help yourself is already like, I mean at least that made me feel better. Like when I made the appointment, like, it like made me feel better because I knew that I was doing something for me and it literally took me so long to like get to that point of like, okay, I'm gonna go to therapy because I never thought of going to therapy as like a bad thing or um, a thing, like something you only go to if like you're crazy. Like I never even thought of it that way. Like whenever someone's like, oh, I, I go to therapy. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Like, because I feel like everyone should go to therapy. Like just how you have a physical, like a doctor's just like checkup, I feel like everyone should go to therapy and just check on their brain um but i i was such a hip hypocrite because i never wanted to go to therapy even though that i knew that i needed it and it was mostly just like i i never like having that kind of attention on me like whenever i hurt myself or um don't feel good or whatever i don't want to put that on other people. Like, I just wanna deal with it myself and not have other people worry about me. Um, so it was really hard for me to like get over that because I didn't wanna call them because I was like, it's not even, I, f I felt like other people had bigger issues than me and like I wasn't validated even though I knew that I was struggling and I still am because I just literally had one session but um, I'm just saying like it took me a while to call the doctor because and even I w I'm still like so nervous I was so nervous to go to the doctors and so nervous to go to therapy um, just because you're vulnerable and you're like telling them like how you feel and I, I only do that to like my close friends and family so I don't know I just felt really weird 
but if you're thinking about going to therapy I say just do it if you don't like it um, you might not like the therapist at first but that's okay like it's not everyone is made for everyone else so anyway I don't know what I'm talking about I guess I just wanted to talk about how I was feeling just in case anyone has felt this way before it's nothing to be ashamed about and I know that in the world right now like mental health is really advertised and stuff but um, sometimes I feel like it's too talked about to the point that people think it's okay to joke about or um, I am not the type of person that's like oh my god like I'm so depressed because like I didn't I spilled my coffee or something I don't like when people use it as a trendy thing which I think is an issue with how aware we are with mental health if that makes sense like we need to be aware of mental health but I feel like people take it to like an exaggeration like oh like eh, and mental health issues but anyway um I don't know what I'm talking about I just wanted to say hey <laughs> and I'm gonna try my best to keep posting because I love posting like I love it um, I've just been having a hard time up here and that's okay I also decided that I'm just gonna post whatever videos I want to freaking post because I usually wouldn't post a video like this I need to stop thinking that all my videos are boring if it's not like a trend um, because obviously I want people to watch my videos duh I don't have a solid group of viewers that I know will constantly watch my videos right now, which is fine. So I feel like I can't post videos like this where I'm just sitting and talking, but I'm going to because that's what I want. <laughs> I'm also gonna do Vlogmas, I decided, because last year I did 12 days of Vlogmas and I was in three shows at once. Like, I don't even know how I did that. That means I could do it when I'm only in one show and I wanna do the whole month because I love vlogging and I just feel like that'll get me motivated more if I was vlogging every day, so get ready for that. Subscribe for that. Um, if you guys ever want to talk about anything um, mental health wise or just like anything you're going through, um, feel free to DM me on Instagram if you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to. Yeah, I love you guys. Make sure you take care of yourself. I felt like I was being selfish if I started going to therapy or doing something like that for myself. I felt like I was being selfish, but it's not. <laughs> you are so important and you need to take care of yourself. And I'm learning that as I go. And I've always said that, but I never did it. I never applied it to myself. Because I'm a hypocrite, apparently. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to talk and check in, but if you watched it, do all the things you're supposed to do. Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.